Last week was full of news when it comes to Blender add-on development, so in today's video, I will be showing you guys several handy and new Blender add-ons that are guaranteed to enhance part of your workflow when it comes to using Blender. From tools for adding imperfections and damage, to rigging, character creation, working with nodes, and so on. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Starting with a simple yet really good Blender add-on that is all about generating photorealistic skin shaders that can be applied to your characters. To be honest, creating human skin is a hard task, but this add-on claims to make it easier, so let's see what it offers. Humanify makes it possible for users to directly apply photorealistic and procedural skin shaders, but not only that, it helps to do it within a short period of time. The secret is the skin shader, which can be applied to any mesh or model for your character. The interesting thing is that it was built specifically on DAS 3D, which means that it works extremely well for meshes generated using that software. And from what I can see, to use Humanify, all you have to do is select your character and depending on what specific part you want to texture, select specific material, for example the hat. Now, in the add-ons interface, you can specify which body part you want to use. And by accessing the different presets that come with the add-on, you'll be able to select the ethnicity of your character, as well as the display mode like grayscale, punchy, medium, high contrast, and others. And you could always dive deeper into the customization settings within the graph editor to fine-tune your skin accordingly. Now, from human skin shaders, let's move on to the next add-on, which is all about adding imperfections to your materials with the add-on called Imperfected. This one is going to be a handy add-on that is targeted towards those looking to make photorealistic renders. And you can do this by using procedural nodes to achieve different and various effects. The add-on comes with a preset of nodes that can be easily and quickly applied to your models, which I think can help you enhance realism. It includes nodes for asphalt, wood, dust, smear, scratches, sand, rocks, droplets, in addition to others. And what I personally enjoy about this add-on is that you can easily layer different effects on top of each other, but you can also tweak the layer settings within the add-on's interface, which gives you control over parameters like scale, strength, and gamma. And of course, you could always get your hands dirty and dive into the shader editor for more control and freedom over how you want to connect and use the nodes to achieve different effects. I should also mention that at any time, when you feel like you want to clear the nodes, you can do that and start over. And you can do this by using the clear all function, which does just that. Now, let's cover an add-on that does something different with Sketch and Trace. This developer also has add-ons like Sketch and Carve, Sketch and Cage, and Grease Pencil for Mesh, just to name a few. To sum it up, Sketch and Trace is an add-on that is all about generating 3D meshes from any custom image of your choosing, which is very interesting. It should be also noted that this tool works really well with black and white images, so you might want to keep that in mind. From what I can see, the add-on is straightforward, so after importing your image, you can directly start experimenting with different tools and settings. For instance, you can adjust the resolution and the X and Y offset to cover certain parts of your mesh, and you could also invert your image selection. In addition, you can even add bevels to those extra smooth edges. And this add-on enables you to generate cool outlines and control their thickness and resolution, as well as the ability to control the color of your mesh and the type of the shading. Next, we're gonna be talking about rigging and bone placement with an add-on called Lazy Bones. Lazy Bones can be a time saver for generating and placing bones for your character rigs because it has a very interesting and effective method of doing so, which we'll be talking about. So, the very first thing that this add-on uses, or what it does, is to simulate the skeleton of your mesh. This means that it makes the mesh shrink into itself, only preserving the very base of your skeleton. And you can specify when to start the simulation by pausing it at any given time to apply it. And you might be worried because things won't look like much at the moment. That's why you have to trust the process. The next thing that you need to do is to clean up the skeleton by using the tools that allow you to decimate, mirror, remove small edges, and resample your skeleton to make it look like something that you can use in the next step. 
Now you are ready to use the main function of this add-on, which is the Add to Bone feature. It allows you to convert your edges to bones and control their density by using the decimate value. Last but not least, you can use the Bone Doctor tools to fine-tune the bone alignment by using different tools to complete the process and making any manual adjustments so that you can make your rig look perfect. Also, a very important step in any workflow is materials. And the next add-on called Auto Material is about that. Simply put, it will help you with the process of adding and applying your texture map into your materials. This process can sometimes be time-consuming because you have to add each image, adjust its color space, add different nodes, and manually plug everything together. Well, with this Auto Material add-on, you don't have to worry about that anymore. All you gotta do is select your object and click on Import Textures. Now navigate to the folder where you stored your textures, select them, and you can change the settings to fit the needs of your projects, whether you are using UVs, generated, camera, or other options. Also, you get to choose to invert your normal map. And what's even better is that you can even specify which shader type that you want to use, like principled BSDF or even something like glass BSDF, which is a great thing. The add-on also enables you to quickly apply specific materials to selected objects, as well as purge in and use materials to clean up your Blender project. Still with the topic of nodes and materials, the next add-on is gonna be all about organizing your nodes. Node Organizer, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. Simply put, it allows you to easily arrange and organize your messy node setups, making your node setups more readable and easier to work with. The add-on works for anything that is node-based, meaning it works for the shader graph, compositor, and even geometry nodes. It might seem that this add-on offers something very simple, but trust me, if you ever try to make a complicated node setup, then you know that keeping everything nice and clean can be challenging too. And it might cause some confusion and waste your time, especially when you try to figure it out on your own. That's why I recommend you take a look at this add-on because it can be really useful. Next up, we're going to talk about an interesting add-on called Mix Damage, which enables you to mix and layer different types of damage effects directly onto your mesh. The interesting thing is that this add-on directly affects your geometry, enabling you to damage the outer surface in addition to the ability to add various types of internal damage, for example in the shape of cracks or spheres. In addition, it comes with 24 procedural destruction nodes that can be mixed and layered on top of each other. But it doesn't stop there, because after generating internal damage, you can access a different feature that allows you to add extra details like gravel, noise, and steel damage, helping you achieve more realism. But it also comes with other features that you can take a look at for yourself. Last but not least, we have Simple Neon which is a geometry node generator that lets you create your very own custom neon sign, either by inputting your text, importing a custom SVG file, or simply drawing it using curves, so it is up to you. What I like about the add-on is the level of customizability it comes with, because it comes with everything you could ever ask for, from a solution, an extrude instance, inner and outer color, color animation, to radius and resolution, in addition to a couple of settings, to adjust the base mesh-like position, in addition to frame and grade radius, also length and height, as well as rod count and even the subdivision option. You can even add stands to your sign and customize their limits as well as their radius. And you can also add cables that are also customizable. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.